Hi there, Smart Drivers. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about a downhill bus crash that happened in the French Alps in 2013 and give you reasons why that bus crash occurred and it's not the reasons that were stated in the newspaper. Another video in the Crash Analysis Smart Series. Stick around, we'll be right back with that information. Hi there Smart Drivers, welcome back. Rick with Smart Drive Test talking to you today about a downhill bus crash and giving you reasons why that bus crash occurred. I was speaking with a colleague of mine from the UK and she mentioned this bus crash that had occurred in April 2013 and that the reported causes of the crash had been uh, the brakes had failed and I said no, if they were air brakes they probably did not fail. And I've talked about in other videos that there is only one failing of air brake systems, and that is brake fade. But it's not just air brake systems, it's also hydraulic braking systems that will experience brake fade if you overuse and overheat the brakes. They are prone to failure. Now, just before we get started here, if you're new to Smart Drive Test, it helps new drivers get a license regardless of class of license, whether that's truck, bus, or car. As well, we had help veteran drivers to remain crash free and CDL drivers to start a career as a truck or bus driver. So be sure to hit that subscribe button as well. Hit that bell. That way you'll get instant notification when I get the videos up for you. So what happened in 2013, the bus came down the uh, hill on the French Alps. The driver lost the brakes experiencing brake fade and made the heroic choice to drive the bus into a cliff and actually bring it to a stop and heroically saved most of the passengers on the vehicle are on the bus only about four of the uh, passengers only were seriously injured but did survive the crash only the driver died experts investigated the bus crash and indicated that the hydraulic driveline retarder had been faulty and that was what caused the brakes to fail overall now a couple of other pieces that uh, need to be considered in terms of the bus coming down the hill. First of all, the bus had a trailer on it. And for those of you who are in North America or have seen buses before that have luggage trailers on them, the, these luggage trailers are fairly heavy. I would guess that they probably weigh in the area of two or 3,000 pounds. So that's one of the other factors is, is that trailer pushing that bus down the hill. And there's no indication that they checked the trailer brakes to see if the trailer brakes were working. Uh, and that information is just not available. As well, the hydraulic driveline retarder, the way that these hydraulic driveline retarders work is, is essentially a fan inside a container and they put oil into it and then the fan turns and forces the oil out through smaller holes and that's a simplistic version of a hydraulic driveline retarder. Now essentially what happens is, is it creates back pressure and slows the vehicle. Now, experts say that the electronic or the hydraulic driveline retarder was faulty. But the other thing that happened was is because the driver overused the service brakes, it led to brake fade. And what happens with brake fade is is that you put too much heat to the brakes, and if they're drum brakes, the drum will expand away from the shoe. And eventually what happens is the brakes won't work anymore. Now, if you have disc brakes and you put too much heat to disc brakes, which it is possible in a large commercial vehicle, and this is why that they're not widespread in large commercial vehicles, is essentially the whole thing will just sort of melt and fail and you'll get brake fade and you'll lose your brakes. And this is essentially what happened with the driver. Now, part of the problem with this is training on part of the driver that the, the company or the system in europe does not train drivers to understand brake fade and that if you overuse the service brakes the foot pedal on the bus eventually what's going to happen is, is that the brakes are going to overheat and you're not going to have brakes even if the auxiliary braking system the hydraulic driveline retarder the electric driveline retarder exhaust brake or engine brake whatever that vehicle is equipped equipped with and the reason that most of these coaches are equipped with hydraulic driveline retarders is because they're quiet. If that wasn't working and the driver would have known that because it wasn't slowing the vehicle down or holding the vehicle back as well, the trailer brakes were the trailer brakes working, how much weight was in that trailer. And as I said, and this is pertinent for drivers who have pickup trucks and are hauling recreational trailers and boat trailers, those types of things, and you're operating in mountainous areas, 
you need to know that you can experience brake fade. Even <laughs> my little Honda CRV pulling that uh, bowler trailer that I have that only weighs about a thousand pounds that come down through the mountains there, and it started to experience brake fade because I'm only relying on the vehicles on the on the car's brakes to slow down the trailer because the trailer's too small. It doesn't have electric brakes or um, air brakes on it, and a lot of these bigger trailers will have electric brakes or they'll have um, what's called surge brakes where there's a a spring mechanism in the tongue of the trailer that when it moves forward it surges and creates an energy source to power brakes on the trailer. They're not very common but they are uh, one of the other ways that trailers are slowed down. So there's a couple of videos here on the channel. Have a look at those downhill braking. I'll put a card up in the corner for you. I'll also put a card up in the corner for you on brake fade and how to identify brake fade and how to downhill brake correctly. And for those of you going for a CDL license, make sure that you pay attention to downhill braking and get that uh, dialed in correctly because if you do get in the right gear and the engine retarder or the auxiliary braking system is working properly, you're going to be able to go down the hill with very little use of the service brakes and you're not going to overheat the brakes and experience brake fade. Unfortunately, that's what happened with this driver in the French Alps is from the information that I can gather, it, the vehicle experienced brake fade and unfortunately it ended tragically with the death of the driver. Question for my smart drivers. Are you driving a vehicle that you experience brake fade on a downhill brake? Leave a comment down in the comment section there. All of that helps out the new drivers veteran drivers alike who are working to stay crash free if you like what you see here share subscribe leave a comment down in the comment section as well hit that thumbs up button head over to the smart drive test website over there is a complete cdl air brakes course it's a course for new drivers working towards becoming a truck or bus driver and it guarantees that you will pass your air brakes first time air brakes is the most technical course in the uh, list of courses for new drivers getting a CDL license and it is probably the most technical and some drivers unfortunately are not successful on that course because of the terminology and other things and whatnot. And there is a glossary of terms and valves found on the C on the air brake system whether it's a bus or truck and all of that information will ensure that you're successful. And if you're not successful within 60 days and you've completed the course, we'll give you your money back. So head over there and buy that course. I'm Rick with Smart Drive Test. Thanks very much for watching. Good luck in your road test. And remember, pick the best answer, not necessarily the right answer. Have a great day. Bye now.